one of the coolest things we do are our create kits. So I love mostly, of course, by far, always, always will, our planners because, well, I love planners and I love to write stuff down. And then when you get into the crafting space, it's really fun to play with. It's not the core of who I am as far as the crafting portion of what we do. Um, that is The planning is what I am most passionate about. I love it. Uh, very much strive for writing things down and making all the things in life that I want to happen, hopefully happen. Um, but sometimes we have to be creative, right? Get out of our space, get out of our minds, get out of the, oh my gosh, all the things we have to do. So we've been doing these create kits for a, a while, over a year now. And I don't know if I've ever done a full talk through video of one. I've always done a little demo video or a release video that kind of shows it all and it's beauty. There's music over it. And today I decided I wanted to do this one completely from start to finish showing all of the things and going ahead and making something. Uh, each month we have a creative project in our kits or something additional creative beyond the papers, the sticker sheet, the journal card, the coasters, the die cuts, um, the buttons. Those are all consistent, uh, but I like the other things and want to show specifically how to do the craft. So the reason they always come with two pieces of paper. The reason we have a third piece of paper is to make an insert slip cover. The reason there is a card stock is because sometimes people like to do it with card stock. Now, what is an insert slip cover? I am going to show you and I'm going to show you on a medium because to be quite honest, that is the easiest size to do. Um, but you can take the same technique, turn your paper different and do different things. I'm going to go ahead and use our insert because I want to show it off anyway that is released this month and it is an address book and just a little bit fancier than our normal one. Our address book is actually in our top 10 list of inserts and so we decided to make a pretty version. So I want the outside of my cover to be this beautiful pink flower. I love it so much. And to do that, I'm gonna open up the front cover of my insert, lay my paper down. I'm sure there's other ways to do this. This is just the way I do it. And then I'm using a piece of paper so I can feel the edge of my insert that I'm gonna fold it around. Of course, you can measure, you can get all those things out. I try to do this kind of the easy, easiest way I can without too much extra. Um, and if you want to do cardstock, you might need to uh, mark a little bit better to fold because you won't be able to, to necessarily feel it. So we have our piece folded and then we have like this extra flap and we are going to cut that off. I typically cut it off with just scissors, but funnily enough, I do not have a pair of scissors here. I have this, so I'm going to make my little cutting board work for a second here. I might have to grab scissors anyway. So now it's even the width of the insert and I'm going to slip it back on and normally I fold it close I take a pair of scissors and I feel the edge of the insert to snip but so you can see what I'm doing I'm going to open it and I am going to grab a pair of scissors okay we're just going to snip two on the fold to the edge of the insert on both sides. And then on this side right here, I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna cut that off. So I'm gonna cut straight from down here to that cut. And then slipped it back on. And when I open it, I have two little flaps here. I do prefer, so it folds a little nicer, to go ahead and cut a little angle cut. Uh, 
and then we fold the two flaps in. Now, once I fold the two flaps in, I don't want to glue them down like this because I don't want to see the flaps. So I'm going to, I kind of don't know why I hold them down. It doesn't matter. I'm going to lift this out and then I'm going to put those down and I'm going to now adhesive the flap. And I adhesive the flap. It's not stuck to the insert. And then... I close it. Now I have a cover that slips on and off so I can change the look of my insert anytime I want. Sometimes when it comes to a yearly insert, it is most fun to do this because I'm not gonna decorate my yearly insert in December for winter and then by summer, I'm tired of looking at it. So that's what the purpose of that is. And I'm gonna decorate the front of this a little bit. I'm gonna try to maybe use up my, my scraps. I like to use up the scraps so I can get as much out of the kit as possible. And because it's a slip cover, I use more tape than if I put it in a, a dash sleeve. So when I make a dash sleeve, which is the pretty that you put in a plastic in the front of your planner. I don't use as much plastic or glue because the plastic is holding it down or holding it together, I should say. So let's see, I'm gonna cut that. And then also with this kit, an extra journal card was a part of the kit. Normally it comes with one, but it came with two this time because of making an insert cover. So we always give you the same things. That way if you still wanna make a dash or whatever it is you wanna make, but then you had the extra items to make this insert slip cover. And then I can choose to put a die cut on it. And if you ordered our sneak peek bag, the items in the sneak peek bag they are not included with this kit, they were in our sneak peek bag, were these two die cuts. Uh, so they can play with this kit as well. Kind of like the bold flower. So that's why I pointed them out. I was like, oh, I wanna use a big bold flower right there. So, and there you have it, an insert cover. And that is on a medium. So, what else I wanted to show you with this, um, again, with the kit, it, it has all these other items, and because I didn't use the cardstock, I can actually just cut this in half. I keep moving stuff out of my way here. Uh, let's see, it'd be five and a half. Cut that in half and then fold it, and I have two cards I can make. And because we love getting into card making, this is just really fun. So I'm gonna make a card real quick. But I was able to have two card blanks out of this kit as well, since I didn't use that card stuff. I'm gonna save that. And I'm just gonna make, make one quick, quick little card. Cut that by, at four by five and a quarter to fit with a white border. And I did want a white border on purpose. Move everything out of my way. And then I can't find it. Again, cleaning up, seeing if I have any scraps I want to use. Those aren't long enough scraps. Scrappity scraps. Well, that's okay. Sometimes I'm gonna just use two die cuts on here. Sometimes just a just a die cut will do. It doesn't making a card doesn't have to be overly complicated. I'm gonna use my 
little puff-up stickers for the second die cut. So I'm going to use this adhesive. Make sure that's the one I want. Oh, no, I think I want that. That's pretty. All of them worked, but these little circle things sometimes... a pain in the butt but that's okay we got it and all these are doing the little dots are is making that die cut stand up a little bit more than the other one which I thought was cute so I was able to make a card and I still have stuff left and I have, I like it sometimes using the buttons on a card too. And also with the full kit, so there's two different styles of kit. You can get just the deco, which I just showed you, or you can get one that also includes a sticky note, a washi tape, and in this case this month, a charm. And the reason I'm pointing that out is because I'm going to use the washi tape and find the end of it here. It's like I found it, I just wasn't able to, wasn't able to get it, but this beautiful flower. And I'm going to put it on the inside of my card just because it adds a little extra fun. on the inside there and that so the bigger kit comes with that the washi the sticky note a, adorable charm <clears throat> and also this month we have a floral teeny cover and we also have decal and if you're a perks member we have a floral card kit and if you don't know what our perks membership is we have a, all about it on the website you sign up as soon as you sign up you get stuff and each month we have um, a, a free item when you spend a certain amount and we also have an exclusive item to buy with our kit and lately it has been a card kit that goes with what we're doing so there's these beautiful floral papers die cuts um, buttons, stickers, you get all the card bases and envelopes to make nine cards. And that is part of our perk membership. Thank you so much for joining and watching.